Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. So, we got about, oh, let me just pull my mask down a little bit. We got about five inches of snow last night. Not too bad, but it is very, very heavy, heavy snow. Now, the temperature is pretty warm out today. Uh, when I woke up this morning, I think it said it was like 40, which is weird. But then I went on another app and it said that it was like 33. So all of the rain that we got yesterday underneath the snow is still wet. So that's good. Um, it didn't freeze yet. But colder temperatures are on the way, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, that sucks. I was wearing my mask because I always wear my mask now or like a face covering shield when I go outside because people with asthma, um, if that cold air gets shocked into the lungs, it will cause an asthma flare up. Um, at least with me, it does. Um, so yesterday, you guys know, I was feeling a little bit off. I was feeling like I was coming down with something possibly. Was that yes? No, that was the day before, I think. So I did wake up with a slight sore throat and like a runny nose, but not stuffy or anything like that. And it's clear, like maybe once or twice a day, I need to blow my nose type of thing. And that's it. And it doesn't bother me at all. But the sore throat is a tiny bit concerning. So I think what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to get out my humidifier. By the way, you guys, it is gorgeous here. Let me just show you. So here you go. This is what I am looking at. So you guys can look at the same thing. It's beautiful, right? It's like a winter wonderland. Anyway. So yeah, I think <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on my humidifier tonight. Get that going. Um, it could just possibly be that the air is so dry because the heat is kicking in and stuff like that. Oh, look at everyone getting their, their little snow plows out. Everyone's happy because they can use their toys. Ugh. Yeah, it just kind of feels like I have a lump in the back of my throat. It's a tiny bit scratchy. And I don't know. So right now, what's going around? The C word, obviously, that's always going to be going around. RSV influenza and surprisingly strep throat now my daughter said that people are coming down with strep throat testing positive going on an antibiotic symptoms still aren't going away so they're going back in and then they get tested for influenza and come back positive so it's like strep throat with influenza on top of it i don't have my tonsils Thank the Lord, baby Jesus, or my adenoids. They're gone. They were gone when I was in, um, let's see, when I was six years old, I had everything taken out. My daughter, when she was maybe in mm, second or third grade, she had her adenoids, tonsils, yeah, adenoids, tonsils, and tubes. And as a matter of fact, her, t her adenoids apparently were growing into her nasal cavity, um, which is why she was always stuffy and have, you know, like sinus problems and stuff. Um, so yeah, that's interesting, but I'm just glad that they yanked those puppies out. Now my other daughter on the other hand, for some, okay, so she had ear problems, lots and lots of ear infections. And at the time, like there was a period in time, and I don't know if it's now, but there was a period in time when doctors really, really shied away from taking those tonsils out. So she had tubes put in, but she had her adenoids taken out, but they wouldn't take her tonsils out, which is so crazy to me. Um, so she has her adenoids out, but not the tonsils. Comment down below if you guys have your tonsils or your adenoids. Comment down below. And your age. Comment your age and if you have had either one of them out. Because that would be interesting to see if there are a lot of like 32-ish year old people with no 
um, adenoids, but they had their tonsils. They still have their tonsils. This guy is on my ass. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. So anyway, Christmas shopping done. Mamacita is a done. I'm so happy about that. Um, got all my ingredients for all my goodies. So as you guys know, my Thursday is your Friday. So my weekend officially starts today. And I am, I'm going to start wrapping first. And then after wrapping is all complete, that's when I'm going to start baking. Because if I bake too early, I feel like that stuff just kind of like sits there. And I don't know about you, but I like a good fresh cookie. I don't like anything sitting there for a long period of time. So, yeah. Oh, oh, you're sliding, mister. Go slow. These people really don't know how to drive in um, trap, you know, in, in slicky roads. Because even though things didn't uh, freeze, it's still a little slick. Because you can tell that they plowed, but I don't know if they salted or not. Let me turn the vents off here. Or down a little bit. It's so loud. Yeah, I don't know if they salted or not. Hopefully they salted on the bridges because that's where it can get to be pretty slick is on these damn bridges. Of course, I'm going on one now. Yeah, there's ice down there. There's ice on the sides. I can see it. It, it definitely froze here. So we are going slow and this motherfucker in back of me, I swear to God, I'm going as slow as molasses right now. Ooh, it's bumpy because of the ice on the on underneath my car. You can feel it. That sucks. I wonder why that happened. I wonder why there's ice like that. Why it froze? Maybe because it was a little windy. I don't know, but Mama's going slow today. Mama's slowing down. She's slowing down. So I was going to record Ask Angel, Angela, yesterday, and I didn't get around to it. I got home late, by, and it was dark all day yesterday, so by the time 4 o'clock, 3.30 rolled around, and I was going to record, actually it was too dark, you couldn't see me, even with the halo on. So I was just like, well, it's going to have to wait until tomorrow, and I don't have any videos posted for today as of yet so if it comes up a little bit late past 5 p.m you guys know why um i think i counted i have 11 ask angel questions that i need to record but that'll take me through all the way up until the 25th i think so that'll be good that'll be good and then Let's see, I ran out of bread, so I need to make a fresh loaf of bread. Hopefully, when I get home, I'll probably do the, I'm going to do the honey loaf again. Now, the honey loaf was the same as the regular loaf of bread. The only difference is that instead of adding the granulated sugar, you add honey. And, excuse me, it just so happens that one of my friends, her father-in-law, sells honey. And has a huge honey farm up in the mountain somewhere. No, I don't know where. Somewhere in the forest. And, uh, yeah. So I have creamed honey, which I need to talk to you guys about in a second. And I have regular honey. Now, the creamed honey, I looked it up because I put a little bit of the creamed honey in my tea last night. Because I had gingerbread tea. And all of a sudden I noticed that there was wax floating to the top of my tea. And I'm like, wait a minute, what is this? So I looked it up and apparently there is wax in creamed honey because this honey creamed, it was more like, um, how do I describe it? It was, it wasn't like a light tan con uh, color. It was regular kind of honey color with like chunks in it. So apparently, I don't know what the process is, but there is um, honeycomb inside the creamed honey. And I looked it up and it said that, yes, you can 100% eat the wax from the creamed honey. And that's where a lot of the um, nutrients 
and things that you need. I don't know if it's antioxidants or what the hell is in honey, but apparently it's a lot of it is um, collected in the wax and you're supposed to eat the wax. So I ate it. So now I'm eating wax, you guys. I'm eating the beeswax. I'm going to get a new, a new uh, mask. I've got all these masks. I've been wearing masks at work. Just because, you guys, I don't want to get sick for Christmas. Because you know it's always a possibility. Okay, I hope everyone has a great Thursday. Tomorrow you will see my haul from when I went shopping with Miss Judy. And I don't know what's going on on Saturday and Sunday, you guys. We'll, we'll see. But I hope everyone has a great Thursday. And I'll see you guys all later. Bye, everyone.